In less than 12 hours from now, India will hold its sixth phase of elections. Here is everything you need to know. The fight for the lower house of the Indian parliament has reached its sixth and penultimate phase. 429 seats were contested in the first five phases. The sixth phase will see voting on 58 more seats across six states and two union territories. Let's put this on a map. All seven seats in Delhi and 10 in Haryana are up for grabs. Voting in Jammu and Kashmir's Anantanag and Rajori was slated for phase three, but was delayed after objections by the ruling party. Both places will have voting in this phase, and the hope is that the turnout will be high like the rest of Jammu and Kashmir. After this phase, voting will conclude in the Union Territory. Elections will continue in the rest of the states that go to the polls in the sixth phase, like Bihar, Jharkhand, Orissa, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. Let's look at the key faces, starting with Delhi, that is definitely in the spotlight. The Indian National Congress and Aam Aadmi Party have a seat-sharing formula. In the seven seats, AAP has fielded candidates on four seats and the Congress on three, all against the BJP. Interestingly, the BJP won all seats in Delhi last time. This time, the competition is expected to be tougher in New Delhi, with BJP fielding former External Affairs Minister Sushma Suraj's daughter and the AAP naming lawyer-turned-politician Somnath Bharti against her. The Congress has put up Kanhaiya Kumar in North East Delhi, who is likely to have an uphill battle against BJP's celebrity face Manoj Tiwari. BJP leader and Union Minister Rao Indrajit Singh is hoping to continue his victory run from Haryana's Gurgaon, a satellite city on the outskirts of Delhi. Against him is actor-turned-politician Raj Babbar of the Congress. In Uttar Pradesh, a fierce battle is expected in Azamgarh, where the cousin of Samajwadi Party's President Akhilesh Yadav will take on the BJP's candidate, actor-singer Dinesh Lal Yadav, who is looking to retain his seat. In Jammu and Kashmir, former Chief Minister and the PDP's Mehbooba Mufti is aiming to enter Parliament from Anantnag Rajori. She is facing Mian Altaf Ahmed of the National Conference Party. Coming to logistics, one million polling stations have been set up for the elections, with 15 million polling agents and 5.5 million voting machines. Voting starts at 7 a.m. local time and ends at 6 p.m. So if it happens to be your turn to vote, Go out and cast your vote. Your report, Vion World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.